this video, we are going to do an example where you have to find energy, but they give you wavelength. Okay, so your brain starts looking for a formula. Okay, uh, let's label. We have wavelength equals 625 nanometers. That's the wavelength of one of the lines for the orange, uh, the orange spectra. They want energy in kilojoules per mole. Okay, so from what I know, energy, that formula is E equals H times nu. <laughs> and that's the only formula that we have for light with energy in it. Um, I shouldn't say only formula, there's other formulas, but for this light unit, first year chemistry, that's the formula that we have. There's no wavelength in that. If I'm thinking about wavelength in light, I think of this formula. Speed of light equals lambda times nu. So this is a two-step. We are going to use lambda and speed of light to find wavelength, and then we will plug it in to this formula. So we're actually going to use both formulas. Uh, now, for the speed of light, you know that we have to have meters, not nanometers. So let's go ahead and convert this. There's one times 10 to the nine nanometers, a billion nanometers inside of one meter. That is going to give us 6.25 times 10 to the minus seven meters. Okay, there we have it. Um, I want to solve for my unknown. That's going to be nu. So let's divide both sides by nu, or excuse me, by lambda to get nu by itself. So we get nu equals speed of light divided by lambda. Speed of light, 3.0 times 10 to the eight meters per second. Again, if you're doing AP, use the AP reference. I think it's 2.98 times 10 to the eight. Um, lambda is going to be 6.25 times 10 to the negative seven meters. Notice meters cancels out. Uh, we are going to get four new, 4.8 times 10 to the 14 per second. Okay, nice. We have frequency. Now we can plug this number into our energy formula. So energy equals Planck's constant times nu. Energy is already by itself, so we can go ahead and plug in 6.626 times 10 to the negative 34 joules times second times 4.8 times 10 to the 14 per second. Seconds cancel, we'll be left with joules. And the answer for this, E, is 3.18 times 10 to the minus 19. And again, the unit, be so careful. What's the unit for energy? Joules per photon. By definition, that formula, the energy for one photon. Well, they asked for kilojoules per mole. So let's go ahead and convert that. We have a thousand joules in one kilojoule and 6.022 times 10 to the 23 photons per one mole. When we do that math, the energy is 185.4 kilojoules per mole. So that is the um, energy associated with orange. Pretty cool. Now, there's something that you might see in your textbook. I am going to derive a formula for energy using wavelength. Some of you, I'm sure when you watch this, you saw it. You saw combining the formulas. I'm gonna show you how to derive this um, because you might see another teacher do this or you might read it in a textbook and I want you to understand where it comes from. We've got our two formulas. Energy equals Planck's constant times nu, speed of light equals lambda times nu. What I can do, actually, I'm going to do this in a different color so you can track with it. Let's do speed of light in a different color. I'm going to solve symbolically and then substitute. So again, let's solve for nu. Divide both sides by lambda and we get nu equals speed of light divided by lambda. Well, what I'm going to do, since this is nu and that's nu, I know that nu equals speed of light over lambda. I'm going to substitute that in. And we will have, watch this, energy equals Planck's constant times, instead of writing nu, I can write speed of light 
divided by lambda. So there is a formula that relates energy to wavelength, to lambda. Now this that I did right here, it's exactly what I just did in the example, except I did it as two steps. I did the speed of light equation and then I did the energy equation. This is combining the equations. Uh, if we go ahead and plug and check, it's the same, same math that I did just 30 seconds ago, but it's combining it all in one step. So let's go ahead and plug in. We're going to have Planck's constant, 6.626 times 10 to the negative 34 joules times second times the speed of light, 3.0 times 10 to the eight meters divided by wavelength. The wavelength in meters, remember, was 6.25 times 10 to the negative seven meters. Um, okay, let's look at our units together. Oh, I'm so sorry, that's meters per second right there. Let's look at our units together. Meters cancels, seconds cancel. Ah, we are left with joules. So this will give us energy equals 3.18 times 10 to the minus 19 joule per photon. And then we can go from joules to kilojoules, photons to moles, just like we did uh, two minutes ago. And you get the 185.4 kilojoules per mole. So I wanted you to see this formula right here because there's a good chance you'll see it in a textbook or you'll see another teacher do it. They're just combining the two formulas, not a big deal. So whatever you like, if you want to use this formula, if you want to derive the formula, then plug and check, or if you want to do a two-step, use the light formula and then use the energy formula, you'll still get the same answer. It's all good. Good work. You're doing great.